grass pollinating right now. Uh, you can feel it starting to put seed in, which may be a bad thing, but we got rained on and we couldn't do it when we wanted to. It has to be at least a pollination, that's the key thing. You want it to be at least pollination because otherwise it won't lay down when we want it to lay down. Uh, about four years ago, Todd built this roller. Uh, Rodale was b experimenting with it. We called them up. They gave us direct our, uh, plans for it. Todd built this one. Uh, I did, he said it's uh, 7, 1,500 pounds. I'll probably goof this up. 1,500 pounds without water. We put water inside the, the tube there. It gives us about another 800 pounds, so it's about 2,300 pounds. And Todd will demonstrate that, rolling it back and forth and get an idea how it works. Uh, so we're going to have to get off the roller. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dad. Fellas, <laughs> <laughs> stand back. Stand clear. we're going to do uh, this year, that's what we're doing right here this year, is we're doing pumpkins. We've got both, on this side of uh, the lane, we have a conventional pumpkin study where we have treatments where we have rye pumpkins. Are, we Last year, before seeding the rye, we, we held out a couple holes, so we got a, about a 15-inch band where we can work that ground, and we're going to plant the pumpkins in that band. We're going to roll the rye down like this for our weed control, and then uh, the pumpkins are going to go and lay on the, the rye as a mat, keep the pumpkins clean, and then uh, to keep the mud off pumpkins and, and for disease control. Uh, we also have an organic study exactly the same as the conventional without herbicides, obviously. And uh, we have the same system there. We're going to actually use plastic for our weed control in that zone that we have for the uh, for planting of the pumpkins. Uh, at least one treatment we're going to do that. We also have a treatment where we don't have a zone where we're just going to plant right into the rye. I don't think that's going to work as well, but we want to at least prove that. Uh, so th that's going on here, and then wherever Ron Goldie is, we're doing the exact same study at his station in, in uh, Benton Harbor. So we have an organic site there and a conventional site. Are you laying plastic over this? No. No, we would only lay plastic over what I was saying was we created a 15-inch zone either last fall where we didn't, when we planted the rye, we just put duct tape over two holes, so it gave us 15 inches. Okay. So we didn't plant 15 inches. We got a zone there. And this this spring, we, here we used herbicides. We came in with a glyphosate product and gave us a 15-inch band when the rye was, you know, 8 to 12 inches tall. And the organics, we just brought, borrowed a cultimulture a rotavator zone one that does about 18 inches, and we just took out the rye when it was in that small state. And that plastic was used for the solarization. Well, we will use. We have not used any plastic yet. The plastic is just going to be for weed control in that zone where we don't have rye, because uh, it's going to be hard for us to control weeds in the zone without herbicides. And so, she going to use regular and not till planter or what? <coughs> Well, we don't have a pumpkin planter, so we're going to do it by hand. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I don't, Ron. How do you plant your pumpkins on, on that uh, swim rack? Uh, one at a time. One at a time. By hand. So, so, so we're in the same boat. Dave, Dave's been doing no-till pumpkins for like ten years. Oh, okay. A little bit different system. What's your system, Dave? I go in the. We plant rye probably three bushels to the acre in the fall. And then I go in in the spring when the rye is only four or six inches tall and spray my rows with Roundup, just foot 18 inches wide. And then I'll go through a couple weeks before we plant with a subsoiler. 
and I just go down right down the row where, where I'm going to plant with a subsoiler, and that to me that loosens up the ground so the roots can penetrate after they're planted, and it loosens up my seed area. And then I just use a regular, I got a little two row vacuum planter that I use for planting sweet corn, and I just shut one row off and cap the fertilizer going to one row and, and plant with my regular planter. Um, and then you mulch. Then, then I, I, mow the, I mow it before I plant, and then, uh, then after I've seeded it, I put Roundup and curb it and Sandia on it. And it seems to work pretty good. The sickle bar? Rotary. Rotary. I used to use a flail mower, but it took forever, and and uh, we seem to get pretty good results with a rotary. It's not ideal, but it and it doesn't work on clay. We got to do it. You got to do it on some kind of a, a soil that that's got the ability to seal up around the seed good, because you're not you're not in an ideal seed bed. Um, we've done it in heavier soil and sand, and it works a whole lot better in sand. So you, so you just rip and really not build in a zone or anything? No. So what about the second year? I mean, try, try zone. The next year. It really yeah. works better. The zone? If you, build, if you rip and, and, and also you just throw all over the few I'm cultures. You know, I, I best thing work I, with I three cultures. Do it as quick as as they can. Yeah, I know, but it's really the same. I don't think it takes you. Just you know. We're just yeah. in the I mean, when you have only two colors, just to, to throw some soil, just to make a little bit of, just about four inches high. And, you know, by the time you come to plant, probably they'll kind of melt down. And some people do it in the fall and they just come in and plant. I mean, the, the, the little hill would be mellowed and kind of smooth, and you could plant rest on them. You don't have to do anything in the spring. Just, But we we like to put a rip, and, rip and build, we'll call it zone building in the, in the spring. And you come back and just plant. That's it. That's all you have to do. We kill, we kill our rye or veg with uh, around it before we plant. And, I mean, we, we kill a rip and plant, you know. But that works really well, I mean.